Hello and welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about diffusion and osmosis. Now, this is one of the basic concepts of life science and chemistry and whatever. This is the fundamental concept that you need to know as a scientist. Now, what is diffusion? Diffusion is a situation where the molecules transfer themselves from the high concentration to the low concentrations. Okay, it's a it's a general rule of uh, rule of nature. Like say, if you take a, a, a glass of water and you take a, a very condensed color, which is also uh, the color is also produced in water solution. You take that color and you put a drop of that color. Uh, let's say the ink, if it's the ink of the marker or a pen, you put that ink uh, into the the drop of ink in the water. You will see that ink will slowly slowly mix with the rest of the water of the glass. And it will make the whole glass equally colorful, not the small part of the glass or something like that. This is so solute tends to transfer or, or tends to move from high concentration to the low concentration. That is the idea of diffusion. Okay. So let's say if I if I draw the situations like say this one, this is a solute. Let's say this is the ink particle that we are talking about, the ink particles. Uh, it is present in very high concentration here. And here it is moving. So what will happen? The particle from this high concentration will move to this low concentration of that same uh, particle, obviously. Okay. And when, um, until they reach or they be, they become the similar concentration, until they reach in the equivalent concentration. And after some time, what you will see, you will see. something like this this will be known as the this will be known as the equivalent concentration so they will reach the equilibrium for the diffusion okay this is the idea of diffusion on the other hand if you look at osmosis with the idea of osmosis is also very similar with diffusion but in this case slightly different but before going into there, I must talk a little bit more features about diffusion as well. Now the diffusion as you see, molecules or particles, whatever you choose here in this case, solutes uh, in the basic term, they will move from high concentration to the low concentration. Now this movement always work down the concentration gradient. Down the concentration gradient means from high to low every time. This is the nature, uh, this is the truth. And until and unless they reach the equivalence uh, or the equilibrium. Now, what other things that influence this diffusion process? One thing is the temperature. If you apply temperature to this high concentrated uh, situations, if you if, let's say uh, you just uh, put some molecules there, and if you increase the temperature, you will see the movement of those solute particles will be much faster with increasing temperature. So temperature will help the diffusion process. Okay. The second thing uh, that influence is the pressure. If you increase the pressure inside the diffusion potential of those particles, it will grow slow. And if you release the pressure, they will start moving. Another thing that also regulates this whole process is uh, is again. Uh, the, the difference in the concentration obviously. Now let's talk about the osmosis. Okay. Now we all know that now let's talk about osmosis. Osmosis is also following a similar rule like the diffusion but this case is little bit special and the thing that is making the case special is a semi permeable membrane or a selectively permeable membrane. Now what does that mean? You know in osmosis the same scenario is working. The same scenario is going on. Let me, uh, okay, let's take the same thing. Let's say these are the molecules. From, this is the high concentration, okay. And this is the low concentration of that same uh, particles over there. Same solute over there. 
and they are separated by the semi-permeable membrane. So this is the semi-permeable membrane. Let's see. Semi-permeable. Semi-permeable or selectively permeable membrane. That means this membrane will allow molecules to pass selectively. So this membrane will not allow all the molecules to pass. Now, you know, if you look at a solution, a solution is made of two things, a solute and a solvent. Okay. For example, for our understanding sake, let's say in this case, separate this up. In this case, we are talking about glucose water solution. Okay. In glucose water solution, if it's a glucose water solution, then what will happen here? These are the glucose molecules, for example. The glucose molecules are present in high concentration here and low concentration here in this chamber. Two separate chambers, separated by a semi-permeable membrane. That membrane could be parchment paper or let's say it is a cell membrane. Because the, the feature of cell membrane is also similar to that of a semi-permeable membrane. So what does that mean? This semi-permeable membrane will not allow glucose to pass it will only allow water molecules to pass now let's say the water molecule if i draw water molecule okay let's draw it with black dots these are water molecules for example okay so now try to understand the scenario very clearly as you see it here, in the second compartment, the concentration of glucose is less. Why? Because there is more water, less glucose present. While in the first chamber, concentration of glucose high. Why? Because less water, I mean the, the, the ratio of the glucose to water is high. So that, con that means higher concentrated uh, uh, concentration of the glucose. So now in this case, we know that glucose cannot trans cannot be transferred through this semi permeable membrane only water can transfer so what will be the idea according to the idea of diffusion we know that the molecules will move from high to low concentration here high concentration of glucose here low here so we can think that glucose can pass from high to low but the answer is no it cannot due to the semi permeability of the membrane where it is written Glucose, no. Water, yes. So, let's assume this scenario oppositely. The water concentration is high in this chamber, but low in this chamber. So, water can flow from this second chamber to this top chamber. Right? So, that means water is flowing from the high water to the low water. And water is flowing from the low glucose concentration to the high glucose concentration. Why? Because water can flow. So if water start to flow, then what will happen? After some time, what we will see is the water molecules, more water molecules there. So what it will do? It will balance the concentration of glucose in both the chambers. Isn't it right? Because as we cannot transfer glucose, let's transfer water in the opposite way. By the same manner, we will make the concentration of glucose in both chambers same. And that is the idea of osmosis, where one particle will not move, but the other particle will move. And to maintain the concentration in both the chambers, same. After, so this process of water movement will continue and it will stop when they, the concentration of glucose in this chamber and this chamber will become similar, it will become very uh, at the equilibrium, then they will stop. This is the idea of osmosis. Now again, osmosis is also influenced by temperature, Temp high temperature will increase the osmosis. Another thing that this permeability feature of the membrane also controls uh, the process of osmosis. Now, if you punch a hole in the semi-permeable membrane, then it will, uh, the, the whole process will get destabilized. And another thing, it will also depend on the distance between the two chambers. 
okay the distance where the water molecule needs to travel from one to next chamber that also important if the distance is more then uh, the rate of this osmosis will be less if the, the distance is less the rate will be higher that is the idea of diffusion osmosis so you know diffusion and osmosis both are equally very very important scenarios from the perspective of life science and cell biology and the and and, the, and for the for the living of a cell why because a cell membrane behaves like a semi permeable membrane and the cell membrane sometimes receives something or some molecules uh, let's say it receives oxygen it receives carbon uh, release carbon dioxide and stuff by the mechanism of diffusion so if the oxygen concentration is higher outside the cell and the oxygen concentration is low inside the cell it will take the oxygen from high to low through the membrane it will not involve in any sort of osmosis only diffusion and that's how cell gets the oxygen on the other hand sometimes some molecules needs to be transferred across the membrane for example i told you about the glucose solution and stuff where they needs osmosis to properly uptake glucose and other molecules or to make everything is balanced because if they are present present in the imbalanced situations th there will be change in the osmolarity in the cell so the cell could die cell could burst or cell could ultimately shrink in those conditions what are those conditions and what are the situations what where the cell needs to regulate its osmolarity we will talk in the next video we'll talk about the osmolarity we'll talk about the tonicity of the medium where we put the cell and the different types of uh, situations regarding that in the next video but that is the conclusion of diffusion and osmosis if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and share this video with your friends thank you